Hi guys, so today I'd like to show you how to convert an MP4 video into a DNxHD video. Why DNxHD? Because this is the recommended video format for Pro Tools and Nuendo. So for those of you who use Nuendo and, and didn't know that, you have to buy a, a video decoder for every DNxHD in order to be able to play DNxHD in Nuendo but I do recommend to use it even though it costs like $30 or, or something because Nuendo deals with DNxHD much better than it deals with other video codecs. If you don't want to use the DNxHD decoder, you should at least use ProRes, okay? So what I did is to download DaVinci Resolve. Now you have the free version if you go all the way down here this free version and then you'll find the edit tab so it's really really easy you just choose your video you put it on the timeline anywhere it doesn't really matter you go to the deliver tab and then here you can choose okay so usually you're gonna be on custom you're gonna go to format going to choose quick time then in codec you're going to choose dnx hd type 1080p 36 8 bit okay so that's it you do add to render queue you'll have a another job that is added here this is this slot right here and then you click start render And that's it, you have a DNX HD file. So now I'm gonna explain why I use DaVinci Resolve and what are its advantages. So first of all, if you go online and you search for how to uh, convert to DNX HD, uh, you, you'll probably find uh, something about the MPEG uh, stream clip. Maybe you know it, maybe you don't, but, if you'll, but this is basically a very popular a way of converting to DNxHD. The only problem with it is that you're not going to be able to convert multiple videos easily. And the second problem, and more serious one, if you have a video that has a different uh, aspect ratio than the normal one, like this one that's supposed to go to a story, if I take this video and I convert it to DNxHD using the MPEG stream clip. Now I'm going to take it and put it inside Pro Tools. This is what happens with stream clip. Okay, so I'm going to erase that. Now I'm going to use DaVinci Resolve. And you'll see that it works perfectly fine. All right? So it preserves the aspect ratio. Okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing is that if you have multiple videos, for example, I received 66 videos for Instagram, Facebook and YouTube from Mazda and I needed to convert all of these in order to play them in my new end of session. Okay? So what I can do just take all of these, okay, put it here, go to the delivery tab. Now, it's going to take me a while, but it's much easier than to do it one by one, okay? So I'm going to choose the first one. I'm going to press I and O, okay? Add to render. I and O add to render, etc, etc. Then I can choose all of them and click start render. Now it's going to render all of them at once. Okay. So that's basically it. That's what I wanted to show you and share with you. And um, if you have any comment or questions, uh, if there's something that is not clear or maybe not accurate in my video, you can always put a comment or DM me on Instagram. And uh, that's it. Take care.